All right, guys, back at another video, and this time we're back at it from the celebration event in Charlotte, where our team just got first place in the three v three. Um, it was a crazy event, and there was I think a hundred teams, and we ended up four one, only losing one round to the team that got third. I uh, don't really want to go into too much detail about the rounds themselves. Uh, I just play, I just mail people out pretty much, so it's not really like too crazy to talk about. But um, the teamwork aspect of the event, I was sitting at player B, which was very key because um, I could see both sides and talk to both of our players to make sure that we were on the same page of what was going on. And if Jose had a question or Jamal had a question, I was there for him. And, uh, and Jose was a player A and Jamal was a player C. Uh, it was very key because uh, Jose actually won the round. We actually really needed him to win because we would have drew otherwise. Because we actually did end with a draw as 1-1-1, one, 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 but J uh, Jose won his round and he was player A, so we got the win for the round, which is very key. It's the only way we made it. And Jamal actually saved us a couple times. The only round that I lost, he did save us. And I got a game loss for a deck, a deck error issue, and I, yeah, I caught myself. Or, so I have a 14-card 14, 14 guard side because I had to pull one of the cards out of my side and put it in my main deck. But we'll go ahead and get to the details of the deck here. Um, Janimba, same old, same old. I'm going to move you out when I, when I attack and draw a card. Flip over, untap two, same thing. Mill two of your opponent's cards and then draw a card. Has the auto negate, discard a blue card, negate any attack, and hold that for whenever you need it. Very clutch. But uh, side deck, I, mean, I couldn't side deck everything I wanted to, and I, so the so my side is a little off, but uh, and my main is pretty good though. Uh, two Kami, this was just very good against the vanilla deck, and it was there. And no other deck on our team needed, really needed this besides me, so I main decked the two. We let Jamal have the Cronoa, which was very key. I was going to play Cronoa over this, but now I realize this is just better. And I ended up playing Veggies round one. But I didn't draw this card, which is very crazy. I even hard mulliganed for it. Uh, two Borgos. Uh, this card was meh, mainly energy. I uh, uh, played it a couple times, but it was not really there for more than anything but one drop draw card. Very good Super Shane Rondo, which I didn't even know existed until this was a, the, say, the, there was a single event that I didn't get to play in. Uh, we got Psyche Demon basically here to uh, search for your Janimba to get a free plus and get this guy to evolve for cheaper. Uh, this doesn't actually happen that often. A lot of times you just keep your energy open and you actually don't play things. So uh, sometimes these guys will come in clutch to make sure that you play your demons, your four drop, the new one, the destruction uh, guy from the deck or warp. So it was very good. But it's mainly there for the mirror match. Uh, play three of this guy. Real Bender, I really like him. Uh, it's really good when you're going second. Helps you pressure mill faster, and I'm glad I played at least three. Some people were cutting down to two, but I think three isn't the, the best number for it. Three Demon Sword. I uh, still don't like this card that much. Uh, it's removal sometimes. I guess cards that can't be KO'd, but other than that, it was energy, and it didn't help me mill out like one time. Uh, four, the best one. Uh, the Age of Destruction. This guy untaps energy in the turn, so it doesn't let you tap out. Like Demon Sword does. Um, you draw a card so he replaces himself, and he also mills an extra card, which is ridiculous. Uh, so, a lot of times you just play this off from your warp over and over because he sends us up the warp, not the bottom of the deck, which is really key. So, you always have access to one with your fat boo. Oh, no, sorry, fat uh, Geneva. I keep calling him boo. Uh, four Dimension Magic, only to get you really need. This card's insane, but sometimes you don't have the sparking, so you gotta pay attention to that because I am playing an overround card. For Bean, uh, the best uh, best defensive card in the game. I like hold on to these as long as I can against the vanilla deck. If you guys watch the stream, I uh, hold those as much as I can. My leader was a 30k in the last game of the finals that keep me on par with the uh, vanilla themselves. Uh, one uh, yielding because that one. <laughs> Four super combo. This is the, I chose this one over the sparking one because I'm playing over him, but I like the I like this one a lot better anyways because you want to take life early on and hold your real valuable cards for later on. You don't want to have to worry about sparking. Uh, three Freon. I was playing going to play two, but I didn't realize that I was at 49 cards, so I had to take one out of my side deck. But uh, it was still good. It was either Blue Energy or Combo 10k that helped me get up a guy on the board. But a lot of times people just energy. Four Unbreakable and for sale. Uh, these cards are very powerful and I'm so glad this deck has these but TN makes these harder to play so you have to be really careful in games 2 and 3 or 1 if they main it and play around TN by not tapping energy is tapping any energy at all. 2 God Strike. Uh, this card I actually cited out. If I use it in game 1 at all, which it can steal you a game 1, 
but it, it is very powerful. It removes, just like peel off, it removes the skill. But uh, it was very key. Uh, I wanted like a bunch of game ones because of this card. They try to combo out, and I go, okay, you wasted all those cards. Now I value. I'll take the one damage for your 70,000 combo, and I'll just take away your inner, uh, take away your skill for double strike or triple. Uh, one chop, but not two. I mean, this, aside the second one, most times you don't really need this, but it's there. You just don't want to get run into situations where you need, you, know, you have too many red cards or green cards, and then two of your over realms to bring Kai of time. Um, it gives your leader a pump, draws you a card, and helps you pressure other battle cards. So it helps you waste their resources in hand if they want to keep a battle card, or it just dies. A lot of times it just dies. So these are really clutch and uh, help you keep tempo against some of the fast decks. This side, we got two Dende, never sided it. Two Grass Treasure. I think I sided it in a couple times, but it was most of the time not necessary. The side deck still needs work because this is for a best th uh, sorry, three with three, so I couldn't all side deck Cronoa. Uh, four, uh, so I'm on side deck four of these now, but I got three in here. Uh, they got Mercenary Tau, Ruthless Trainer. Uh, barely good against Lord Slug or any deck that just discards your hand. I was really just afraid of Shinron Hand Destruction, really, uh, or anything like that. But um, you play it for one if your opponent's playing a green or yellow leader, and then they have to warp three cards in their hand if they make you discard a card. So it's pretty insane. So really good against Dende as well. So um, you got two peel off. Uh, this card came in like once. It's like extra copies of God Strike Beerus that only cost one. Two, we scorch. I wish I would have side decked uh, at least four copies of this card, really, because the vanilla deck really needed gates. But I decided in two from Mofuba, so it was about the same thing. This can put a vanilla in the in the jar, basically, and it won't be able to attack the next turn. So it's actually like a double Weiss against them, and it's pretty powerful. But I, a lot of times I had to end up charging these because this is just better to keep energy open for those turns where they have went really wide, and then they end up combo the cards so they play Arakami, and then the one chomp, like I stated. But um, thank you guys for watching this, these videos, and uh, if you guys haven't checked out the videos from the um, that I posted from the event, like Lord Slug and the uh, Super Chiron, those are actually really cool. And this format's way better than I thought it was going to be, and even though TN and a few other cards are very um, powerful and they make it where some decks just can't play, um, a lot of these decks can just play around cards like those, and then you don't have to worry about them. But uh, if you see this bounty map... Uh, for the event in general, it was insane. Um, they only gave these matches to the five people that par par participated in Battle of the Gods and were the people that won 3v3, which is our team, and Pat O'Neill, which was the volunteer that they pulled off, and Jordan Marco. We didn't get to play in this event, on, so that's why you didn't see me in the singles event. We didn't get to play in that event on Sunday. We got to play Battle of the Gods for five hours, and we got special prize support and stuff like that. But it was well worth, and yeah, it was awesome. Um, the event was free to enter, and I got 11 boxes where each of my teammates did, and and it was just insane. We got free. We're getting free jerseys in the way, uh, and uh, and a playmat with. They're all custom, and we got a giant card. So the event was insane. I hope you guys can make it, make it to a celebration event near you, and I'll see you guys next time.